Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so I've been cooking up a mess for the past couple days. Not really. Um, today's video is crock pots, crock pot meals, meals, complete meals in the crock pot, pretty much complete meals in the crock pot that do not require an oven and it will not make your kitchen the pits of Hades like the devil's front porch. You know, we're in a heat wave. We've been in a heat wave for a month and a half. It's so hot. It is so hot. And the least little thing makes it go whoop. The temperature just rises. I've been trying to use the oven as little as possible. And the good old Annie Danny Crock-Pot has helped me with that. So, <laughs> this video I have included four recipes for the Crock-Pot. Complete meals in the Crock-Pot that beat the heat. That beat the heat. Here's my Crock-Pot beat the heat recipes. All right, all right, guys. We are doing Crock-Pot chicken fajitas. You're going to need chicken, diced up peppers, onions, chicken taco seasoning, and a cup of picante sauce. You're just going to put it all into that crock pot. Yep, that's it. Just dump it and go, guys. Super easy. Low for eight hours. All right, we're just going to shred up some pepper jack cheese because this is what I have use any cheese and we're going to put them in tortillas and it's going to be super simple easy Oop. my little tortilla so I want to do the taste test today and I will make Brady one so you can see that it's not just me Let's go. All right, Bray. Mm. I'm good, good. Thanks. Crop pot three cheese pasta. You're going to need sour cream, cottage cheese, half of that cream cheese, all of the mozzarella cheese, two 24 ounce cans of pasta sauce, and pasta. You are going to take the four ounces of the cream cheese, put it in the microwave for 30 seconds so it's nice and soft. Add a cup of the cottage cheese and sour cream and mix it all together with that cream cheese. To that cheese mixture, you are going to add garlic powder to taste and Italian seasoning, however much you want, and a little bit of salt. Start making the layers. Start with the pasta sauce. Open up the can, unlike what I did. I don't know why I did that. Then you add in a little bit of the pasta. Then that cheese mixture. It don't have to be pretty. Then keep repeating. Save that mozzarella cheese for later.
you're going to cook this on high for four hours. After an hour and a half, you are going to add your shredded mozzarella cheese. I had a little bit of leftover pepper jack cheese. So that's why you see that little pepper thing right there. It's a mixture of mozzarella and pepper jack. But I just used it so I could use it up and it wouldn't go bad. You don't need that. Also, Dusty took over for me because I had to go somewhere with some family members. Shout out to my awesome husband, Dusty, for taking these videos for me as I was gone. After an hour and a half, he poured that cheese on there. I love him. He's so awesome. Look at the glorious cheese footage. He did a good job on getting all that cheese in there because cheese is life. You know it. And there it is when it's finished. Look how beautiful. Now this, guys, was freaking delicious. Yep, I said freaking. It was good. You need to try it. Okay, Callan, time for a taste test. Mm. Okay. Beat the heat, crock meal. Crock meal, crock pot meal number three. I'm doing a baked potato bar. You're going to wash those potatoes and stab them with a the fork all over. And then roll them up in some tin foil. And cook those babies on high for four hours or low for eight hours. Whichever you want. Just be sure to check when they're done. Stick them with a fork to make sure they're soft. Now I'm just preparing all the toppings. Also, we're doing a salad bar with the potato bar. I forgot to say that. Sorry. Make sure you test your tater, stab it to make sure it's done. We got our cheese shredded, bacon pieces ready, french fried onion pieces ready, butter, salad, salt, pepper, ranch, sour cream. But this is our easy potato dinner. It's been for yourself night. Everybody builds their own. Good job, Kai. Are we making a mess, Brayden? chicken chili. I will put all of the measurements for this recipe in the description box below along with all the other recipes. But you're going to need everything that you see here that is corn and black beans in the mason jars. You're going to add your chicken. Add four ounces of cream cheese. Add your corn drained and rinsed. Your black beans drained and rinsed. Your rotel bacon pieces of course we all need bacon in our life you're going to add two cups of water and you're going to add a tablespoon of chicken bouillon or one chicken bouillon cube um one teaspoon of cumin one tablespoon of chili powder one teaspoon of onion powder and garlic powder of course, we always have to have garlic powder in our cooking. And you're going to add that packet of ranch. Low for eight hours or high for four hours. 
and you're just going to shred up that chicken and add your cheddar cheese and it is done. Look how beautiful and creamy that is. And by golly, that was good, guys. Give us a taste test, Ryder. Yeah, I like it, Mama. You promise? Mm-hmm. Okay, guys, that was it. That was my four crock pot meals that helped beat the heat. Sorry, that sounds a little bit lame. But anyways, it does. It beats the heat. I didn't have to use the stove top or the oven. I just used the crock pot. And this did not make it overheat in the house. So, thumbs up. Thumbs up for me. Helps that light bill. <laughs> I know I told you guys that I was going to reveal details on the giveaway on this video. But, we are still brainstorming. We, we, we had it figured out. But, we got another idea. We got another idea today, and it's a better idea. So, don't hate me. I love every single one of you, but I am not revealing the giveaway yet. But trust me, there's a good reason. There's a good reason, okay? Hopefully, if we got a good idea, just, just give me a minute. I'm really excited. I love giving things away. It makes me feel so good, and you guys are awesome. You're so supportive. You're so nice. You're so kind to me, and I just want to give back as much as I can to you guys. I wish I could to every single last one of you, but, you know, I, I'm doing what I can, and, and this, and I'm really excited, okay? It's going to be super, super exciting, because if, if we do, if we can find what we're going to give away, be a pretty good one it, but if we can't find it it's still gonna be a good one okay so just just hold your taters it's coming i'm really excited i really am excited, so excited. anyways um that's all i got to say about that <laughs> cue the forrest gump scene where he says that that's all i have to say about that remember guys as always be kind, be positive. Please only surround yourself with things that bring you joy and happiness and causes no stress. Okay, we need to be happy in our lives. I'll see you guys next video. Remember, like, subscribe, leave me a comment. I love reading y'all's comments. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye. I'm sorry. <laughs>